がとっとと終わるぞクソゲー育成ゲームにクソゲーなんかありませんよおいそれしまえ撤回してくださいそれしまえって不動産あなた仮にも紫の父親でしょちげえあんな手棒じゃ産ませた覚えねえしとぼけるんですか育児放棄ですか不動産気が短いです眉毛短いです眉毛関係ねえだろこれナケヒトゲームジクリュチュージャンラズゲームコメディドラマイリデアカツキ has unlocked hidden content in the game he's playing Nakahito Gino and it turns out that this content is a real life game he soon wakes up to find that he has been kidnapped and taken to a strange place along with a number of other teammates each of them specialize in a certain sort of game like cultivation games, fighting games, puzzle games, etc. A llama-headed teacher gathers them after level 1 is cleared to explain how the game will proceed. Will this group of gamers succeed and make it back to their real lives? I was born with these propellers. With the invention of anti-gravitational shoes known as graph shoes, the ability to fly freely has become an everyday experience for the people inhabiting a four-island archipelago south of Japan. This invention has brought the people new ways of living and also a new sport known as flying circus, where participants gain points by either touching floating buoys or their opponent's back. The gullible and clumsy Asuka Kurashina, newly transferred to Kunahama High School, enters this world of flight unknowingly when she is able to pull off a difficult maneuver the first time she participates in a flying circus match. Eventually, this leads her to join her high school's flying circus club. Led by their coach, Masuya Hinata, their members consist of the experienced Misaki Tobisawa and her overprotective friend, Mashiro Arisaka. Ao no Kanada no 4 Rhythm follows this rookie group soaring high above the skies and towards their dreams, armed with only their unwavering passion against an uncertain future. Aquarian Evil 12,000 years after the events of Genesis Aquarian, humans live on the star Vega under constant threat of transdimensional beings called abductors. These enemies originate from Vega's sister star, Altair, and raid Vega for human life. As a countermeasure, an organization known as Neo Diva formed to combat the abductors. They pilot advanced mecha suits called Aquaria and are strictly separated by gender. Poison girls are not allowed contact, they are even restrained from fighting on the same battlefield. However, events take a shocking turn when an advanced abductor mecha suit joins the fray. Two teenagers, Makono and Amita, are dragged into the conflict. Unknowingly, Amita performs a taboo when he summons an Aquaria and utilizes what is called the Forbidden Union between a male and female Aquaria. Neo Diva is shocked, and the repercussions of Amita's actions are much farther reaching than he realizes. How was he able to summon an Aquaria? Where did he learn to form a Forbidden Union? And why was Mikino also able to pilot the mecha suit? Kakeguri. Genres, game, mystery, psychological, drama, school, shonen. Unlike many schools, attending Hyako Private Academy prepares students for their time in the real world. Since many of the students are children of the richest people in the world, the academy has its quirks that separate it from all the others. By day, it is a normal school, educating its pupils in history, languages, and the like. But at night, it turns into a gambling den, educating them in the art of dealing with money and manipulating people. Money is power. Those who come out on top in the games stand at the top of the school. 
Yumeko Jambi, a seemingly naive and beautiful transfer student, is ready to try to win her hand at Hyako's special curriculum. Unlike the rest, she doesn't play to win, but for the thrill of the gamble, and her borderline insane way of gambling might just bring too many new cards to the table. Usuo Sojo Machiavellianism Genres? Action? Comedy? School? Shonen The private Aichi Symbiosis Academy was originally a high school for high-class girls. When it became co-ed, the girls, out of fear, asked to be permitted to bring weapons to school. When that was enforced, a five-member vigilante corpse-like organization called the Supreme Five Swords was also formed. After many generations, the Five Swords eventually became a group which corrected problematic students, and the Academy started proactively accepting such students in order to correct them. Nomura Fudo was sent to this school after being part of a huge brawl. What will he do when the only options he has after enrolling are being expelled from the school or being corrected the way the rest of the male students were? By being forced to dress and act like a girl. Grisaya no Kajitsu Genres? Drama? Harem? Psychological? Romance? School? Yuji Kazami is a transfer student who has just been admitted into Mihami Academy. He wants to live an ordinary high school life, but this dream of his may not come true anytime soon as Mihama Academy is quite the opposite. Consisting of only the principal and five other students, all of whom are girls, Yuji becomes acquainted with each of them, discovering more about their personalities as socialization is inevitable. Slowly, he begins to learn about the truth behind the small group of students occupying the academy. They each have their own share of traumatic experiences which are tucked away from the world. Mihama Academy acts as a home for these girls. They are the fruit which fell from their trees and have begun to decay. It is up to Yuji to become the catalyst to save them from themselves. But how can he save another when he cannot even save himself? Makin Ki Based on the manga series by Hiromi Takeda, this romantic comedy is about Takaru Oyama, a typical perverted teenage boy. His new school doesn't require entrance exams, and it just turned co-ed. Unfortunately, his dreams of a happy high school life are dashed when he finds out the school is much more than it seems. All of the students wield a special item, a Makin, to unleash their magical abilities in duels. Can Takaru find a Makin that works for him even while trying to fit in at a new school and dealing with all kinds of girl problems? Tokyo Ravens On Miyoto magic was once a powerful technique used by the Japanese during the Second World War in order for them to gain the upper hand and establish their nation as a formidable force. But Japan was quickly defeated after the revered Amiyoji Yako Tsujimikado caused the Great Spiritual Disaster, an event which plagues Tokyo to this very day. As a result of this mishap, the Anmyo Agency was established in order to exercise further spiritual disasters and combat the demons that would make their way into this world. Number 9. Chrome Shelled Ragios In a post-apocalyptic world overrun by mutant beasts called Limbikun or filth monsters, humanity is forced to live in large mobile cities called Regios and learn to use special weapons called Daite by harnessing the power of Kai to defend themselves. In the academy city of Zuelni, Leif on Alfsif is hoping to start a new life and forget his past. However, his past has caught the attention of Karian Loss, the manipulative student council president, and Nina Antalk, a military arts student and captain of the 17th Military Arts Platoon, who instantly recognizes his ability and decides he's the perfect candidate to join her group. However, with a secret past that won't leave him alone and unknown powers beyond normal, Leifon just might not take it. Number 1. Kyukai no Kanada Mirai Kuriyama is the sole survivor of a clan of spirit world warriors with the power to employ their blood as weapons. As such, Mirai is tasked with hunting down and killing Yumu, creatures said to be the manifestation of negative human emotions. One day, while deep in thought on the school roof, Mirai comes across Akihito Kanbara, a rare half-breed of Yumu in human form. In a panicked state, she plunges her bloodsaber into him, only to realize that he's an immortal being. From then on, the two form an impromptu friendship that revolves around Mirai constantly trying to kill Akihito in an effort to boost her own wavering confidence as a spirit world warrior. Eventually, Akihito also manages to convince her to join the literary club, which houses two other powerful spirit world warriors, Hirumu and Mitsuki Nase. As the group's bond strengthens, however, so does the tenacity of the Yumo around them. Their misadventures will soon turn into a fight for survival as the inevitable release of the most powerful Yumu beyond the boundary approaches.